Hey, Pari, look at this menu Lenovo laptop. Wow! Wait, but how are you going to access it? Oh, don't worry. Very easy. Let me show you. Hey, what is up, everybody? I'm Pranav Savla and I'm back again for another video. Just a little context. I uh, am a 14-year-old blind student studying in India. My favorite hobby is to code. And I work with this team called BrailleMate, which makes some really cool products. Just look at this. This is like this. It's my Braille t-shirt, which has Dream written in Braille. And they do this to sensitize the psychic community for blind people. Now, one of the questions that I get usually and very, 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 very frequently is how on earth do I use a laptop? You may also be thinking, as in the start, I told you that I code. And this question was just asked to me as well by my sister when I showed her my new awesome laptop. So today I'm going to clear the air and I'm going to show you how do I use a laptop? What is the magic? What is the secret behind this? Let's begin. Okay, so for this, I've connected my laptop to the TV with this HDMI output cable. Yep, we're watching this on the big screen and we're using some nice stereo speakers. So basically I'm running a, a copy of Windows 10 and basically for all Windows operating systems from Windows 2000 there's a screen reader that you can download called NVDA. Now what's a screen reader you may be thinking? Very very simple, it reads the screen. A little more complex. Uh, so basically whatever comes on the screen, it basically reads out all the contents and whatever I'm doing. So I'm using NVDA, so for example if I go, uh, I'm on my desktop, so if I go... Yeah. See, I'm navigating, it just said projects, and no, this is not a bug with my awesome speakers of my TV. This is actually very, f I've set my screen reader's voice to very fast, so you can hear that. So let me actually navigate through my desktop and show you. I just use my arrow keys, no using the mouse here, much faster to do with the keyboard. So that's apps video converter, half-life.txt, players.txt. So that's basically NVDA. Suppose I want to navigate to my grade 9 folder. Well, I'll, very easy, I'm just going to press G, much faster. Because grade 9 starts with G, of course. <laughs> I'm so funny. So, yeah, now for example, suppose I want to open up this grade 9 folder. What would you guys do? Hmm. You guys would double click it. Very simple with a screen reader. I just hit the enter key. And then we just maximize Biology. So it's opened up my grade 9 folder and I can navigate again through it. Now, just for a little more, so I just close this by pressing Alt F4, another very very useful keyboard command. You sighted users may be able to use it as well. Suppose I want to go to my, uh, let me see, this PC. So I'm just going to press my Windows key, search for T H this PC. And I hit enter and see it's reading everything out. So it just said uh, folders grouping expanded 3D objects not selected one of 11. Yep, hard to understand that. Big mouth full of words. And again, I can just open this. And I have only one item that's desktop. Now, say I want to open up my programming environment. So, very simple. I'm just going to open up the start menu and. VS and hit enter. It said Visual Studio Code. So it's reading out everything that's on my screen. Uh, on the laptop screen, not the TV screen. But isn't it the TV screen because the laptop is connected to the TV? Simple. Now I can again navigate through this. But I think you guys get the idea. So... So guys, but which, laps, which laptops do you guys have? Do you have a Windows or Mac? Or which operating system do you have? Do you like Linux like me? Well, let me know in the comments down below and don't forget to like this, give it a thumbs up and share. Okay, so guys, now I'm going to go and enjoy this awesome laptop of mine that's new. Bye-bye. See you later.